Hello, everyone! How's life going? Well, so am I. I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to the season four premiere of Logo History! Yay! Woohoo! After all that long time, and after more than two months of waiting, Logo History is finally back! Yay! All that time in the world, and now Logo History is now finally back! Back in session. That's right, people. We after that three after three hundred episodes, we are now ready to start another one hundred of of episodes. Waiting for you. We are ready to start another one hundred episodes here on Logo History. That's right. Season four has officially begun, people. As you know, I'm coming to you from my mom's house somewhere, somewhere closer here in South Florida. But that's okay because we're in this together. So yay! Thank you for coming. Welcome to season four of logo history that's right Woo! and happy one year anniversary to the show hooray yay all right it's been one full year since since my first ever episode of logo history and now it's time to celebrate it all so happy one year anniversary to logo history and now without further ado and without any further delay let's get started for this first ever episode of this brand new season, and for episode 301 overall in the series, we are taking a look at Columbia Pictures and TriStar Pictures. That's right. Uh, besides, that fanfare you just heard is from is the Columbia Pictures fanfare, and that is what you just heard at, in, in the intro to, to season 4. So thank you all for coming, and welcome to Logo History, episode 301. Today it's about Columbia Pictures and TriStar Pictures, and... Uh, Besides, Coloring Pictures is what I just talked about on episode 1 of Local History Told, but it's other words I brought you over on something else. TriStar Pictures, on the other hand, will be this week's episode, episode 7 of Local History Told. That being based on the works I brought you over on something else, so please stay tuned for it. Do not miss it. But right now, all things must come to a start. Are you ready for it? Great. Then let's get started. Are you ready for today's episode? Great. Then here we go. First things first, images are taken for low PDA. Credit goes to everyone. I don't know any, uh, any images that's about to be shown here, so get ready, guys. What you're about to see is absolutely real. Images are taking a little bit of credit cards. Everyone, thank you so much for your free support. Now, let's get started. First, let's take a look at Columbia Pictures. This is a pretty good one, so here we go. Here's the show by for us to do what Columbia Pictures is. Columbia Pictures Industries Incorporated, commonly known as Columbia Pictures, is an American film studio and production company that is a member of the Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group, a division of Sony Entertainment's Sony, Sony Pictures Entertainment, itself a subsidiary of the Japanese multinational conglomerate Sony. What would eventually become Columbia Pictures was founded as Con, no, no, Con Brand Con, or CBC, Film Sales Corporation on June 19, 1918, by brothers Jack and Harry Con and their business partner Joe Brands. They adopted the Columbia Pictures name in 1924, operating as Columbia Pictures Corporation until 1968, when it went public two years later, and eventually began to use the image of Columbia, the female personification of the United States, as its logo. In, in its early years, C Columbia was a minor player in Hollywood, but began to grow in the late, in the late 1920s, spurred by a successful association with director Frank Capra. With Capra and others, Columbia became one of the primary homes of the, uh, of the screwball comedy. In, in the 1930s, Columbia's major con contract stars were Gene Arthur and Cary Grant. In the 1940s, Rita Hayworth became the studio's premier star and propelled their fortunes into the late 1950s. Rosalind Russell, Glenn Ford, and William Holden also became major stars in this, at the studio. It is one of the leading film studios in the world and is a member of the big five major American film studios. Columbia was, was one of the so-called little three among the eight major film studios of Hollywood's golden age. Today it has become the world's fourth largest major film studio. The company was also primarily responsible for, distribu for, for distributing Disney's Silly Symphony film series as well as the uh, Mickey Mouse cartoon series from 1929 to 1932. The studio is headquartered at the Irving Thalberg Building at the, on the former Metro Gore Mayor Studios, currently known as the Sony Picture Studios in, lot in Culver City, California, since 1990. Mm. So that is what we're going to be taking a look at on today's episode of Logo History, my friend. Today is about Columbia Pictures, and we'll talk and we'll get to TriStar Pictures later on in uh, in the season premiere and and besides uh and besides uh, a mo uh, a metro mayor was already discussed on episode 290 of this series but uh, but got updates so i talked about that on episode, on episode 21 of that show on episode, on episode 21 logo update 
Walt Disney Pictures was discussed on uh, episode 148 of this series. If I'm right, yes, I'm right. Uh, it's Sister Studio 20th Century Studios, episode 147. One of our pictures. One of our pictures was on episode one hundred and fifty. Universal Pictures was on episode two hundred. Was was on episode two hundred ninety six. Um, excuse me, I was wrong. Uh, episode two hundred ninety seven and uh, Paramount Pictures was on episode two hundred ninety eight. So that makes up the big five motion picture studios. Please go check them out if you haven't seen yet. They're definitely worth the way. I didn't really could do so. But yes, let's take a look at the stats here. The movie's 30 name is Columbia Pictures. Industry is filmed. Founded on June 19th, 1918 at CBC, Film, film Sales Corporation. And on and on uh, January 28th, 1924 19, as Columbia Pictures. So yeah. Owner of Sony. Headquarters are in Thalberg Building. Uh, 10202 West Washington, Baltimore, Columbia City, California, United States. They do not have a slogan since they are a film studio. And their website is www.sonypictures.com. Please go check it out right now. The link will be in the description down below. So go check it out. Show us the support. You'll be glad you did. And now with that out of the way, let's just get started. It's time to start this brand new season of Logo History once and for all. Are you ready? Then let's get started as I present to you the first logo of the new season. The Logo History of Columbia Pictures. Here we go. 1919 to 1924. Before there was Columbia Pictures, there was the CBC Film Sales Corporation. So here we have the letters C, B, and C in great text. They had a bunch of uh, black and white lines inside the uh, outline. In between each letter, there are two white dots on a black, both of which are a black outline. And under the other letters and dots, there are the words film and sales in black text. Under them, there's a more corporation in black text. And coming out from the second letter R, there's a black curly line. Going around and around. <laughs> Love it. Under the word corporation, there are two black lines. And under it, there are the words New York and New York. There are New York and black text. And everything's on a white background. So there you go, my friends. That's everything you need to know about right here. 1924 to 1925, they have changed the name to Columbia Pictures. So that's the company we're currently seeing today. So here we have here a white a white shape made out of a bunch of on a black outline made out of a bunch of bunch of white shape with white, white lines. And on it, and inside it, there's there's a picture of there's a drawing of a lady oh, wearing a dress and a shield. That's something. On it, and behind a cloudy background, on on Lady, there are words Columbia Pictures and Black Tux. Under them, there's more corporation and Black Tux. And behind her, there's a black line. Yeah, behind Lady, there's a black line. Everything's on the white background. So there you go, my friends. That's everything you need to know about right here. 1925, 1926. Here, so here we have here a black a black circle on a white black outline. Inside it, there's a white, there's a white drawing of Lady uh, white, uh, wearing a vessel. Yes, a dress. Something like that, and, and and on one hand she is wearing a shield. On that shield, there are letters CMP and black text. So right in the shield, yeah. So right in the circle, there are words Columbia and pictures and black text. On the right of pictures, there are two black dots. Everything's on the white background, and that's and that's everything you need to know. That's all, guys. Up right here. Here's an ultra version. Nin 1926, 1932. Here we have a black circle inside. There are words Columbia and pictures in in, in white text, and, and in the middle of it, there's a white banner. Yes, may have, white shape may have rib ribbons. And, and inside it, there's a, there's a white lady wearing a dress, holding up a, a torch, and on the torch, there's a white circle. Inside the letter CMP in black text. On, on her, there's a white shape. Inside the letter, gems of the screen in black text. And again, everything's on the white background. So there you go, my friends. That's all you need to know about right here. And that's pretty much it. 1932 to 1933. We have here a white circle on a blue outline. Inside there words Columbia and pictures and red text. Between uh, between them, there are two red stars. And in the middle of the circle, there's a uh, red circle. And inside it, there's a uh, there's a white lady holding a torch. And, come, and behind the torch, there's a white uh, there's a white uh, white circle. And coming out of it, there are some white lines from some torch light or torch rays. And that's pretty much it. Also, under it, there are, there are some white stars on the bottom. So that's, that's very good. And of course, and again, everything is on the white background. So there you go, my friends. That's everything you need to know by right here, right now. Here's our alternative version. That's red and black. 1933 to 1936. So, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the background's been removed. The stars have been removed. The, uh, all the circles all the are now black. And the words Columbia pictures are now in white text. <sighs> now you know, my friends. That's pretty much it for this look here. Here's our alternative version. 1936 to 1993, we just have a we just have a lady holding a torch while while standing on a pedestal. So that's pretty much it. Everything you need to know about here. 1936, 1938. So we have here a white circle. We have excuse me, a white rectangle on a black outline. Inside there, there's more Columbia in in white black text. Under it, there's a uh, 
white cloudy shape and under that there's a uh, uh there's a great cloudy shape and under and on it there's a because uh, there's a lady holding a torch coming out of the torch there are some black lights from say torture rays and under, under, under the clouds and and, and lady there are some pictures in white and black text and again everybody's on the white background so there you go my friends pretty much it so now you know my friends now you know here's an alternative version that's completely red so i know and we have another version that's 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 also an alternative version so now you know and we also have the warm mark, so keep that in mind. And the uh, gray version of warm marks, so yes, that's everything you need to know. 1938, it's 1945. We have here a white circle, a black outline. Inside of that words, Columbia and pictures in, in black text. In the middle of the in the middle of the circle, there's another white circle on a black outline, and on it there's a lady holding a torch, holding standing on a pencil, and on and behind her there are some white, there are some black lines. Website torch uh, torch ray. So keep that in mind as you come along. So yeah, guy, good. Here's an alternative version. 1945-1964, we have here a white, we have a lady holding a torch, standing on a pencil, and surrounding her, there's a uh, white banner on a black outline. Inside that, word, on the front, there's more Columbia in black text, on the back, there's more pictures, also in black text. And again, everything's on the white background. Also, coming out of the torch, there are some black lines, representing torch rays. So now you know, my friends, that's everything you need to know here. Here's the war mark. 1964-1975, oh my gosh, we have here a uh, black outlined rectangle, Yes, a black outline rectangle, and coming out of and coming out of the outline, we have a uh, we, have, we have a transparent torch and a transparent letter C on a black outline, all connected to each other. So very so very so that's very easy to know. Now you know, guy. Good. Here's an alternative version with the war mark. So keep that in mind. 1975, 1981. Here we have a uh, black half circle, and inside it there's a white shape made out of 13 uh, white lines from St. torch rays. And under the, uh, under the half circle there was Columbia and pictures in black text. And now I realize look here. Here's uh, here's a version without the white uh, the, uh, without the rays. We have a turn version. We have we have, we have a version we, we have the version where the, the letters are even less spaced out. Yeah, they're more spaced out. Uh, we have the uh, we have the side version, the icon, the blue version, of the icon. We have we have the picture of the torch lady. Yeah, before becoming the uh, half circle, we all know. Yeah, we have. We have a very with the slogan, let us entertain you. Yes, let us entertain you. Another version with the slogan, let us entertain you, but without the background. See, 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 yeah, that keep that in mind. Uh, we have a very that says Colonial Pictures Industries Incorporated. We have the, uh, uh, we have the print version. Uh, we, have, we have the print version of the static version of the logo. With, uh, the, where the torch rates are transparent. We have the, uh, blue version. Uh, we have the blue version with white torch rates and brown text. So keep that in mind. And we have and we have the war mark and set and, and the horizontal version of war mark. So that's pretty much it. Nineteen eighty one to nineteen eighty nine, we have here a black shape, and inside it there's a, there's a black and white lady holding a torch while standing on a black and white pedestal. Behind her there's a uh, white shape that looks like an explosion. So like, boom, yeah, boom comes comes the explosion. Love it. Anyways, uh, under the shape there are Columbia pictures and black text, and that's pretty much it. That you guys are wearing here. Here's the print version, the blue version. The red and black version used on international markets. So yeah, keep that in mind. We have we have an all black version. So that's so, so yeah, that's a whole lot of fun. Uh, we have the inverted version, uh, the the inverted version, but without the dome. So yeah, that's that's good. Uh, we have the and we have the icon, uh, the icon, the white version but without the dome. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Cool. Uh, we have the uh, dark gray version of the dome. And we have the blue version of the dome used for Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment as well as RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video, currently known today as Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. That we'll talk about in a future episode, so keep that in mind when it, when it arrives. Okay, good. Uh, and we also have a variant, so keep that in mind. And another variant, but, but, but completely but completely black and the inside of it transparent, so now you know. And we also have this icon. And yeah, the, the torch lady, but with the, uh, but with the shape being silver. Out of white background, so yeah, I know my friends. 1989 to 1992, same as the previous logo, but now the dome has been removed. Yeah, the dome has been removed, and now everything is all right. And the, the explosion is now the shape is now black, and now everything is and now the inner parts are now transparent. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, and now the other parts of the uh, of the uh, torch lady and the pedestal are now transparent, so yeah, that's very also the text is bigger. So now you know, here's a version with bigger text and, and the icon. And we also have an alternative version of this logo, so with some black lines behind it. So yeah, get out of mind. 1992 to 1993, the font of the world Columbia pictures, uh, the font of the world's Columbia and pictures have changed. Their every letter is now a couple of letters, and now and they're now all on the left of the torch lady. <sighs> so 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for this little look here. Um, and finally, 1993 to the present. This is what we're currently seeing today, people. We just saw words, Colby, and pictures, a black text. On the right, there's a black outline to the square. And inside, there's a, a black lady holding a torch while standing on a pencil. And behind her, there's a black cloudy shape. And that's the current logo we're seeing today. So now you know, my friends. Here's, another, here's the inverted version, the color version, the sad, the sad version, the, a variant. You know, we love it. Yeah, here's the other sad version. We, we have, and we have and we have the other and we have the color version, which is the sad version. So now you know, my friends. And we, all, and we also have the war mark. Oh yeah, I forgot. Now we have to, now we have to get to the other variants of this current logo. So I put this one right here, 1993 to 1996. So the logo, so so the uh, logo is now inverted. The text is now at the bottom. It is now horizontal and now right there. Everything down towards the Sony Pictures Entertainment and Company, all in black text. So yeah, keep that in mind here. Here's an alternative version. 1996 to 2013. The words Colonial Pictures are stacked again. They are now on the left of the shape. Yeah, excuse me, on the left of the square. And now above everything there were that words released and by in black text. So keep that in mind. Also, the words Sony Pictures Enter Entertainment and Company are still there. So yeah, the fair shit. And the logo is still inverted. So yeah, now you want friends. Here's an alternative version and the Columbia and a version that says a Columbia Pictures release. So yeah, keep that in mind. And finally, 2013 to the present, the words a Columbia, the words released and by have been removed. The words Sony Pictures and Entertainment and Company have been removed. The, the, the words Columbia Pictures are now bigger. And now under everything, that words a Sony and Company in black text. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's the inverted version, the standard version, the inverted standard version, the color version. Yeah, which is stacked. So yeah, now you know. Uh, we have an uh, we have an alternative version with bigger text. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, we have the inverted version. I don't know. We have the inverted version with bigger text. So yeah, keep that in mind. And we have the color version again, but with bigger text. So yeah, now you know, my friends. We also have the we also have, we also have a variant that says that's that's the 2017 copyright stamp. And we have another copyright stamp, but this time through to but the Sony Pictures releasing in Canada. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about here. And we also have the release by Columbia Pictures, a Sony Company version. And a Columbia Pictures release uh, version. And we have and we have this very that's the first release released by Columbia Pictures, a Sony Company. That we see at the end of every Columbia Pictures movie. So yeah, keep that in mind. And we also have this Columbia Pictures release as a uh, variant as well. So yeah, that's, that's all I enjoy. And that's it for Columbia Pictures, ladies and gentlemen. See you today. That's how I say look at Assistant Studio, TriStar Pictures. So here we go, guys. Here at the show by for those who don't know what TriStar Pictures is. TriStar Pictures Incorporated, spelled as TriStar until 1991, and signed as TriStar since 1992, is an American film studio and production company that is a member of the Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group, a subsidiary of Sony Entertainment's Sony Pictures. It's not it's a subsidiary of the Japanese multinational collaborate Sony Group Corporation. TriStar Pictures is a sister studio of the older Sony studio, Columbia Pictures. TriStar was established in 1983 and founded by Victor Kaufman as Nova Pictures. That I already talked about earlier in the video. So please say too. Besides, uh, TriStar Pictures was once a joint picture between uh, Columbia Pictures, HBO, and CBS. Whoa. Now you know, my friends. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, CBS was already discussed in the very first ever episode of the series. And HBO... Where was HBO? Where was HBO? We'll get to that very, very shortly. Again, uh, CBS was already discussed on the very first ever episode of logo history and which was one year ago and hbo was on episode 31 so please go check them out i haven't seen yet i highly recommend you could do so but yeah let's go right to the stats here movie city name is right star pictures industry film found in 1983 as nova pictures owner of sony headquarters are at 10202 west washington Baltimore, Culver city california united states they do not have this logo again and just like columbia and just like columbia pictures our website is www. SonyPictures.com. Go check them out. The link will be in the description below. So please go support them. Show them some love. You're the best. But right now, though, everybody must come to the start. So are you ready for it? Good. Then let's get started. The logo, has, uh, as I present to you, the logo history of Troy Star Pictures. 1984 to 1993, the company was founded as Troy Star Pictures, but with a hyphen between the words Troy and Star. So here we have a. So we have here a black horse with wings. Yeah, no, that's a Pegasus. So you know, under it there's a black triangle. Yeah, a black outline triangle. Inside there was Troy and Star. A black text under the triangle. There's more pictures in black text, and that's all I gotta say about here. That that that's low. That's the that's was the first logo used by Tristar. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, 1981 to 1993, they changed the name to Tristar Pictures, but without the hyphen between the word Tri and Star. Now the word Tristar is just one word. Yeah. So we have the word Tri in black text on the right of it. There's a uh, black uh, a black horse with wings. No, it's a Pegasus. Under it, there's a black triangle. So yeah, keep that in mind. Under, uh, under that, as well as we're trying, there's Star in black text. And that's the logo we know and love.
So yeah, keep that in mind. Here's our alternative version. 1993. So he had, we have a, a black square, and inside it, there's a uh, the, we have a black horse with wings, with, with black wings. That that being a Pegasus. Behind it, there's a black cloudy shape, and under the square, there were stripes and pits, uh, there, there were stripes or pitch, there were stripes or pictures in black text. Under it, there were Sony Pictures Entertainment and Company in black text. So yeah, keep that in mind. That's everybody needs, needs to know by here. So yeah, I know. Uh, here's our alternative version. This is released by TriStar Pictures. Uh, 1993 to 2016, the, uh, all the words under the square have been removed, and now on the left of the square, there are words try and start in black text. So that's pretty much it for this over here. Here's uh, here's our alternative version, the color version, and other variants sets of TriStar release. We also have this released by TriStar variant. So yeah, I know my friends. And, and and there's also one that says a TriStar release, so keep that in mind. As well as one that says a Sony company, which is their fine line, so keep that in mind. Uh, and there's also one that says a TriStar release, a Sony company. So now, yeah, whole lot of variants out there. So yeah, I know my friends. And we also have this logo that that says uh, that says uh, that has the distribution copyright stamp from 2014 with the distribution uh, with uh, with, uh, with the Sony Picture Release in Canada copyright stamp. So yeah, that's very much different logo here. And we also have the war mark as well. So yeah, now you know. And finally, 2016 to the present, same as the previous logo, but now the final words have changed. You know, the final word Tristar has changed. The word Tristar is now horizontal. And now under it, there's four pictures in black text. And that is the logo we're currently seeing today. So, yeah. There you go, my friends. I'll do this all over again. Uh, I'm going to do this logo history all over again. Uh, this Saturday on Logo History Told. Rock to your 047Ls. Logo History Told. When will we, when will we be about this over here? Try some pictures. That'll be episode 7. And it's coming your way this Saturday. So, keep that in mind. So, yeah. I know, my friends. Here's our short version that says on Sony Company. As well as the copyright stamp. And that's pretty much it. And we also have this stack for, and we also have the stack version, used as seen at the end of the movies. So yeah, keep that in mind. And we also have the release by Tristar version as well. So yeah, now you know. But that's it, guys. It's all over. Yay! Thank you all so much for watching the very first ever episode of Logo History. Thank you for watching the season premiere of Logo History. That's right. We are finally back, people. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Yay! Woo! It's so good. To be back. It's so good to be back, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally back in business, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you all so much for watching today. We will see you tomorrow for another exciting episode of the series. And don't forget to leave. In, in the meantime, please do not forget to leave a like on the video. It really helps out. Share this one with your friends and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to not miss a new video. Please subscribe to the notification draw to not miss another new video from me as we are on the road to 900 subscribers. Thank you all so much for watching today. And if you want to go check out everything you have to see, go check out the local history playlist on screen right now. Link will be on the top right corner of the screen. So go check out the playlist right now and catch up on all the on all the past episodes of local history you might miss out on. So thank you so much and happy one year anniversary to my local history series. Hooray! Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm Miguel Sanchez. You be yourself, and I will see you tomorrow on Logo History. Join me again tomorrow for episode 302 as we take a look at Regency Enterprises. So please stay tuned. Hope you're all ready for it because it's going to be so much fun. So please stay tuned for that. Hey, guess what? A YouTuber changed his logo today. That's why the logo BFB just 13 changed his logo today. So that means we have an episode look up to for you today. Oh my gosh. And then later on, we have Moshi Monsters by the episode 301, episode 401, where it's going to be on Stanley, the song for Seahorse, the final ball chain to come out of the fiction set. So please stay tuned. But stay tuned. But, but coming out later. Uh, but, but before you do that, it's the series premiere of Logo History Moshi, where where you guys request the logo, and, and, and my Moshi Monsters Plus Choice will do the talking. Uh, new episodes drop every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so please stay tuned for it. Hope you will, too. So, for now, it's goodbye for me, and goodbye for all of us here at Logo History. Thank you all so much for watching. We are finally back in business, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! So, thank you all for watching. I'm Miguel Sanchez, and I'll see you tomorrow for another exciting episode of Logo History. Until then, I'm Miguel Sanchez. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow as we take a look at Regency Enterprises. God bless and happy gaming. And remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. I will see you guys later. Thank you all for watching. Until we meet again, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe. I'm Miguel Sanchez for Logo History. I will see you in another video. Yeah, <laughs>